Hey guys, Dan from World Must Great, Dandalf the Grey. And we are back with round two of Reddit Ghosts. Now, last time I did this, it was only like a week ago, I think it was, or a couple of days ago, I can't remember. Time is sort of melded into one right now. And I am going to get to your comments uh, video very soon, very soon. But yeah, when I did, I'm, an, I'm a Reddit noob. I think I said this last time, I, I don't know how to work it other than click on like pages and stuff. It all looks, all looks backwards to me, so I was on the wrong thing last last time when we did the Reddit Ghosts. So this time, because some of you suggested, I should click on Top Posts. I'm going to see what happens. We're only going to stick to photos and videos in this video. Probably won't be a long video, I don't know, we'll... I don't know why I say that anymore, but anyway. So we're just going to go to from the top. And see what we can see. We're not debunking anything. I just thought I should state that straight off the bat okay first one top one caught a possible ghost at the winchester mansion six years ago now i have seen this about 10 minutes ago in my discord um stacks on stacks posted it and i clicked on it stacks on stacks asks ghosts reflection or photoshop uh jenzola says looks like a reflection can't even see her face no i had a quick look i wasn't exactly sure where to look myself Cause you can't really zoom in that far on bloody oh can you you can't oh wait there oh wait i can just do that so i'm not sure where the reflection was is it her is it her so this is the winchester house the one from that film with all the rooms is that the, is that the house and i think um shane and ryan from buzzfeed went there at one point it was really good good episode ah oh, right is it that is that it i think it is isn't it so I'm assuming that's a window. Yeah, actually, I'm going to agree it's a reflection of the sky. It's the sky. When you first watch it, mind it, uh, look at it, it does throw you off a bit, but it's... Like, there's the sky there, the outline of the sky, and the reason there's an outline and not just filling the window is because the dark area there is the part of the balcony. Right there. It's the, not balcony, what's it called? Alcove? I don't know what you call them. But that's what that is. But it is cool, and I can see why people would think that's uberly scoop spooky. Who knows? No, oh, I haven't. I got one karma in here, so I'm gonna start giving karma. <laughs> is that how Reddit works? Ghost Angel says it looks like a reflection to me, only because the right side of the figure matches the curves of the pillars. There you go. Ghost Angel got it. Can I up them? There you go. I just did something on Reddit. Look, check me out. Oh wait, I'm not. Am I actually on ghosts? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I thought I was just on random Reddit then. Can I move? I know it looks odd, but at least you can see everything. Got spooked by something falling off the table, then a noise got picked up on a camera at the end. I didn't hear in person. I should state, right? I am weary about going on Reddit, because I know there's trolls on Reddit who will say, check out this cute little dog, and then I'll say, Wah! something will jump out on you. I know that happens. <laughs> so, I'm, so I'm always slightly more on edge with the Reddit stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go back to the beginning just in case I missed something. I don't know what that was supposed to be. I have no idea what that was supposed to be. Got spooked by something falling off a table, then a noise got picked up on camera at the end. What's the point in that video? It's pointless. Oh, we've <laughs> we've already seen that one. Someone caught this on a home security camera in my country, Costa Rica. We've seen this one. Isn't it the crawly thing? <laughs> yeah, we've already seen that. I think it was on... Um, Slapped ham, it's got to be about a year ago. I even did the um, the crawling thing. It's just a dude crawling on his, on his, and with his elbows under his knees. I'm not going to do it. I'm not that nimble anymore. <laughs> Ghostly apparitions floating around back patio. <laughs> what do you think it is? Do you think it's a bug on the lens or a bug on the lens? I don't know. Moving on. I've got to the bottom. How? Is that it? 
Is that it? Is that the top post? Or have I I've clicked something? Oh, I've clicked today. What an idiot. What a moron I am, right? So if I click um, top this month, maybe. A few years ago, something pushed our dog across the floor when my son was playing with him. He turned around and barked at whatever it was. <laughs> no, the dog is getting spooked by something off camera, I don't know what, and he just pushes himself. It is very good though. Dogs are nimble. Extremely nimble. Ghost caught, caught a children's museum. <laughs> That's the problem, like, how the hell are you supposed to see what the hell is going on? Alright, bloody zoom back out, for crying out loud. Alright. Uh, if you're missing the image, look to the window on the top right. You may find it useful to expand the image. Oh my god, this is so slow. I'm so used to like Photoshop and stuff just whizzing about. I can't see your ghost. <laughs> I can't even see anything. I can see a hand print right there. I don't know if that's what they mean. On another hand print. Hmm. Interesting. And I think you suppose. Supposedly, I suppose you do sort of see like an outline there. I have no idea. Could just be like, uh, I don't know, an effect on the wall behind the glass. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> a horse died in this pasture beside my house a couple of years ago. There are currently no animals in this pasture. Am I saying pasture right? I think I am. The horse was black. This one appears to be white. It's definitely a horse. And the reason it's white is because it's night vision. It's actually a black horse. And I know what you're going to say. Well, how come everything else which is black isn't white there? Because certain materials, certain materials are inverted on a night vision camera. That's why a black... If you Perfect example. What's his face? Zach Bagans. Zach Bagans, as you know, always... And I mean this. You can look this anywhere. He always wears black. In anything he's in, same with his mates, I can't remember his mates, you know, Aaron, is it? They all wear black in their investigations all the time. When they go to the night vision, it looks like he's wearing a white top on some of them. Not on all of them, but on some of them, because the certain materials are inverted. In this case, the black horse is inverted to look like a white horse. And that's pretty much all there is. My son was napping yesterday, I looked in the monitor and saw this. This is so awkward. Oh, I hate it. I forgot I'm zoomed in, didn't I? Idiot. <laughs> I forgot I'm one. Uh, I don't, right, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? <laughs> I tell you what. The one thing I have noticed with Reddit for the brief time I've already been using it is the amount of grasping at straws people do. <laughs> It's, it's worse than bloody, like, going on the top five channels and someone saying that this little hairy monster was known to roam around the fields. It's just some, like, chihuahua walking across the field or something. But in this case, it's like, is this a ghost? It's like everything is a ghost on Reddit. It's weird. I get a notification on motion on my home security camera last night at 1.32am and this is what I saw. I was in bed, still awake, when my camera caught this. I didn't hear any sound from my hallway and I live alone. I'm convinced my house is haunted. I just moved in last week. What can I do? <laughs> Keep looking. All right. <laughs> what does this look to, like to you? Oh, shit. Sorry, I had food going in the oven. But anyway, where was I? What does this look like to you? I wasn't home and my family was downstairs. Got a text in. Asking if I was upstairs, and I said, I'm not even home. I mean, it's either someone breaking into your house, or you are lying. Early 1920s, found in the trash, along with other photos. I'm assuming that there is supposed to be the thing. Any reflection of that dude there? I don't know. Or reflection of that woman's head? Who knows? It could be anything. Have we seen this one? What's that? My, uh, part my security camera picks up something, thing, something audible, and visibly flick off a light switch, then flick it back on again. There's a cat down there behind my head. You can't see it. 
Do you want Insta Cat doing it? <laughs> is the cat still there? Oh yeah, yeah, there he is. Wouldn't the cat be bothered about that though if it was like if there was supposedly no one home? Cats get bothered by the slightest of things. I mean, we can hear the click of the light and see the light go off, but the cat likes, nah, nah, I'm alright. If I on. <laughs> Does the cat freeze for him? <laughs> Watch the cat when he goes to his bowl. <laughs> right, so he's going to his bowl. Looks like he's chowing down big time by there. He's chowing down, he's chowing down. And then he just stops and freeze frames. But the light goes back on. The cat is dead still by there, by the way. So does that mean there was a mask right there? Right there. I mean, why would he need a mask? That's, that's quite elaborate, man. Why would he need a mask just to flick a light switch, switch off in the background? I don't know. Maybe I'm looking too deep into it. But the cat looks like it freeze frames and the rest keeps on going. So it could be altered. But like I said, we're not going to go deep in these. I can't be bothered. Right, see now. An edited version of Shadow Arm Post. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Alright, i got to go back in the beginning. He's munching down. Watching, I don't know what the hell he's watching. Use something. And then he carries on eating and then starts, he finishes what he's doing, I, I, I appreciate that. The cat reacts to whatever it was. Look, carries on eating, puts that final mouth in. I didn't even see what fell off, I didn't even know we could see it, I thought it was just a... Oh, okay. I don't know, it was just ready to fall off, maybe? I have no idea. So again, there's not a lot to go on. Can anyone help me verify that the man in this picture is not edited? The man in that picture is not edited. The reason he looks so ghostly is you you three, I'm assuming one of you is this, the owner of this photo. You three are sitting still, you know, waving to the camera, waiting for the camera. That dude in the background is probably walking by, by I'm, I don't, I'm assuming there's a pathway there, like, and you know, he's, he's in the shadow, he's not in the sunlight, that's why he looks dark, but the uh, camera which you were using just has bad, um, how can I say it, what's the, what's the thing, shutter speed, the shutter speed is not that very good, that's, that's what it was. Basically, it's almost like uh, you know, when you create a long exposure, long exposure uh, photograph is similar to that. Obviously, it's a, this is unintentional, but the three kids are sitting still. That's why they look so clear. The dude in the background with what looks like a hat and a moustache, he's walking by and he's in the shade. So it is a dude, my dude. What's everyone else say? Ha haunted by Sam Elliott. I bloody knew it. Is Sam Elliott still alive? He better be. And his pet moustache. I just thought the kid in the middle was smoking. <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> no, do you know what? I actually thought then it could have been a bit of pareidolia and that he is actually like exhaling something and that face was just in the rock there. I actually thought that could have been pareidolia. The more I look at it now, the more I think it is bloody pareidolia, actually. I, in fact, I, I think it is pareidolia. <laughs> oh my god, I can see it now. Oh my god, see? You think something, then you look closer, and you come to a different conclusion. Okay. <laughs> a little white area there. there. There is no dude there. I take back what I said. There is no dude. That little white area there, I, don't, I doubt he's smoking. I mean, it's possible. I think that little white thing... Is something really close to the to the lens. 
could be anything flying, not a bug, but like anything just floating past as they took that photo. And then it just happened to coincide with with what looks like a head. And it does. It does look like a head, but I suppose if you took that out. Let's try something, shall we? We're going to use some Photoshop magic now, right? I, I do actually think it was just something floating in front of the camera. And both the white thing and the little pareidolia thing is it's just something so close to the camera it looks see-through. Do you know what? Someone else in the comments just came up with a very good explanation. And again, I'm leaning towards this one now because I think it's a really good explanation. So look at the ghosts t-shirt. Look at the shape on it. Look at the dude who is actually there. Look at the shape on that. And what someone in the comments said, and, I, and to be honest with you, I'm leaning towards this now. David says, Welsh person, it's not an edit, but it's also not paranormal. Po uh, as someone points out, the ghost is very similar to the child sitting on the left. You can see that the child's shirt is really white and bright, so what is likely to have happened is the camera has moved, as you can see the image is super blurry, and it's captured the brightness of the shirt. Cutting the ghost and overlaying it onto the sh child shows that the shirt matches near perfectly. Although it looks like a ghost is wearing a wide brimmed hat, this is just a happy coincidence and as it's clear, it's just the rock in the background. Interesting picture. That's perfect. That's, that's the perfect explanation to me. Again, it goes back to my original thought of long exposure. And they moved the camera as they were taking a photo, just that slightest. And they took the brightest thing on that photo, which in this case was the white t-shirt, and just is sort of like super exposed because of the long exposure. I love that. I love that. That's a really good explanation, which I was, I was trying to do and I didn't get to it. So moving on. <laughs> Moved into my grandfather's house. I never knew about this photo that was taken next door. What about the, do the dog? <laughs> I don't know what's supposed to be ghostly about this. I'm just looking at a, an awesome looking dog who's just sitting there waiting for his food patiently. I'm assuming maybe it's that. I don't know. Does anyone have an obsidian crystal ball? I have one. I've taken pictures in it and I always get some kind of paranormal thing in it. This is one of the scariest. It's a whole person. I was alone and TV was off. <laughs> huh? I, I, Right, I can see the person taking the photo, but that's about it. I don't know what this whole person they're on about is. There's, there is no way. There is no way. I refuse to accept that this person taking the photo is saying that their reflection is the ghost. There's no way. I refuse. They're probably looking at something else I can't see. So we'll just move on. <laughs> I must say, Reddit, Reddit ghosts, um, from where I can tell so far from the two times I've been, or well, three technically times I've been on there. They they will post anything, absolutely anything, as is this their ghost? <laughs> After that, I didn't have a clue what the hell they were trying to say or trying to show. It's just bloody weird. It's just really weird. I mean, some of them was like a photo or a video of nothing and they'll go on like a long bloody tangent, sto storytelling, even bigger than Callum from Slap Tam. You know what he's like, telling his stories. <laughs> I don't bloody know. I don't know if I'll go back there for a while because there's bugger all there. I'm gonna just gonna say there is absolutely bugger all on our ghosts. There's nothing there, other than a load of photos that people are misinterpreting or a load of videos that God knows what they're trying to show in those videos. I have no idea, but I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it, and I hope you enjoyed it too. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you like this video. Leave a sub if you're new to my channel. I do these quite often. And I will be back very soon uh, with a reading your comments video because I need to catch up. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now.